again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. How are you today? Well, today we are going to be doing another lovely lacy stitch. This one's called the Blossom Stitch. Absolutely love it. It's pretty darn easy with only a four row repeat. And I think it would be perfect for a wide scarf, a wrap, a shawl, a blanket would be awesome. There you go. The possibilities are wide and vast. So for this particular piece, I used, it was a, a DK weight of yarn. It's a weight of three. And I used a size five millimeter size H crochet hook. We're going to be using the same weight of yarn today. Um, it is, I believe, Burnett uh, Baby Sport, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we're going to be using this today. And without further ado, let's hop to it. Alrighty, my dears. So first things first, the base chain. For this particular stitch, your base chain, it needs to be uh, in a multiple of eight chains plus an additional two chains. So right here, I've got three multiples of eight, that's 24, plus an additional two. So I've got a total of 26 chains right here. You can, of course, make this as wide or as narrow as you want to, depending upon the project. Uh, that aside, I still recommend do a swatch first. It'll get you used to how the pattern works and also uh, will make it easier to determine how many chains you're going to need for the project that you're going for. So with that being said, multiple of eight plus an additional two, and let's get started. Okay. Okie dokie, row one. By the way, the, the repeat for this particular pattern, it is repeating rows two through five, but we'll get there. So to start off, into the second chain from the hook, single crochet, chain two, and yarn over twice because the next stitch is going to be a treble. So after doing your single crochet, skipping three chains, one, two, and three, into that fourth chain, treble crochet or triple crochet. I've heard it both ways. So yarning over twice, going into that chain, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So that's one treble. We need four more for a total of five. Now, I haven't tried it, but I imagine that you could replace the trebles with doubles, although you may need to make some adjustments with the length of the chains in between. It's certainly worth looking into if you're not a fan of trebles, but I think that this looks rather lovely, so I kept it as is. Okay, and I just need one more. Okie dokie. All right, so then from here, chain two, skipping three chains. So that's one, two, and three into that fourth chain, single crochet. There we go. Chain two, yarning over twice, skipping three chains, one, two, three into that fourth chain treble crochet, yarn over twice and treble, through two, through two, through two. Three more to go. One more to go. Okay, chain two, skip three chains into the fourth chain, single crochet. Chain two, skip three chains, one, two, three, into that fourth one five trebles. Okay, 
Okay, three more. One more. There we go. Okay, from here, chain two, skip three chains, and into that last chain, single crochet. Ta -da! There you go. Okay, so that is the end of row one. So however many multiples of eight that you did, that is going to determine how many of these little clusters at the bottom that you have. So that being said, let us proceed on to row two. Okay, row two. Start off by chaining up one, turn the work, and into that first stitch, that single crochet, do a single crochet stitch. And these are the easy rows. It's uh, rows two and four that are the easy ones, you know, in my opinion. Chain up four, one, two, three, four, and then into the, the third treble, do a single crochet. So that's one, two, and three into that third stitch right in the top of that blossom, do a single crochet stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skipping these two trebles and the chain space into that single crochet, do a single crochet stitch. So we're sort of like creating a, a trellis work of chains here. Chain four again, one, two, three, four, into the third treble, do a single, chain four, single into the single, chain four, single into the third treble, chain four, and single into that last stitch, that single crochet stitch. And there you go, that's the end of row two. Pretty already. Okay, row three we're gonna be creating some new blossoms because the blossoms in this pattern are offset. So we're gonna be creating half blossoms at the beginning and at the end. Now we have five. Well, if we break it down to three, that works. So start by chaining up four. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna count as our first treble crochet. Then turn the work yarn over twice, and into that first stitch, that single crochet stitch, treble crochet, so we've got two, we need one more, so yarn over twice, and do another treble into that same stitch. There we go, so we've got our half blossom, then chain two, and into the single, do another single. Chain two, into this single down below, five trebles to create a new blossom.
there we go. So we've got our five, chain two, single into the single. Chain two into the single down below, five trebles. Okay, so we've got the one, four more. Okay, that's two. Three. Four and five. There we go. All right, so then from here, chain two, single into the single. Chain two, and then into this single at the end, three trebles. We started with three, we have to end with three. So I get the one. And two. And need just a scooch more yarn. There we go. Three. Okay. So now you can see that our, our blossoms, our shells are going to be nice and offset. And there we go. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Okay, let's go. Okay, row four. Like I said, I love rows two and four. They're very, very simple. So start off by chaining up one, turn the work, and single crochet into that first stitch. These are you know, like the last row, that was a, a blossom row. This one's more of a trellis row. So after doing your single crochet into the first stitch, chain four, and single into the single down below. Chain four, single into the third treble, chain four, single into the single, chain four, single into the top of the third treble, chain four, single into the single, down below, chain four, and then into the top of the last treble. It can be a little bit fiddly, but I think it's worth doing right. So into the top of this last treble, do a single crochet. You could just go in between the stitches, but I think this looks a little bit nicer. And no, the crochet police are not coming for you. It's okay. But yeah, I think that that looks just a wee bit neater and nicer. Personal opinion. So that is the end of row four for the repeat. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, row five. Last but not least. And I think at the end of the last clip, I said row four for the repeat. No, that was initial row four. Don't mind me. So for row five, start by chaining up one, turning the work, and then single crochet into that first stitch, chain two, just like we did for the first row, then into that single crochet, five trebles. Okay, so we've got two, just need three more. And then after we finish row five, I'm going to do a full repeat because I like spending time with you and making sure that you understand how the pattern works. 
Just need one more. And also, as always, there will be timestamps in the description box, as well as some other links. Okay, so we've got our five. Chain two. Single into the single. There we go. Ooh, ooh, hello. Chain two into the single down below, five trebles. So that's one. It's two. Three. and five, chain two, single into the single, chain two, into the single down below, five trebles, Okay, and then one more. There we go. So we've got our five, chain two, and then into that last single crochet stitch, do a single. And there you go. So that is the full five rows for the pattern. And let's move on and let's do the repeat together. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so officially row two for the repeat. Start off by chaining up one, turning the work, single into that first stitch because this is going to be a trellis row, so to speak. So single in the first one, chain four, single into the third treble, chain four, single into the single down below, chain four, single into the third treble, chain four, single into the single down below, chain four, single into the third treble, chain four, and single into that last stitch. And there you go. So that is row two for the repeat. Okay, so row three is where we start in on some new blossoms, right? Right at the end here. So start off by chaining up four. Turn the work, and that chain four is gonna count as our first treble into this single crochet stitch. Two more trebles to go. Okay, one more. Okay, so we have our three trebles right off the bat. Chain two, single crochet into the single. Chain two, into the single down below, five trebles. Ok, 
Okay, that's two. Three. Four. And five. Chain two. Single into the single. Chain two. Five doubles into the single down below. Okay, that's two. Three. Four and five. Okay, chain two, single into the single, chain two, and then into that last stitch, three trebles. And there you go. So that is the end of row three for the repeat. Now, as far as where to end your project, personally, I would suggest ending it after completing row three or row five, you know, one of your blossom rows as opposed to one of the trellis rows. That's just my personal opinion. Take it for what you will. So let's move on to row four. Okay, row four for the repeat. Chain up one and turn your work. Single into that first stitch. Chain four. Single into the single. Chain four. Come on, thank you. Single into the third treble. Chain four. Single into the single down below. Chain four. Single into the third treble. Chain four, single into the single down below, chain four, and single into the top of the third treble. Again, yes, I know it can be a little bit fiddly, but again, I think it is worth it. It's character building. There we go. So scooch that right into there with a single crochet, and voila, that is the end of row four. Okay, row five for the repeat, last but not least. Start by chaining up one, turn the work, single crochet into that first stitch, chain two, and then into the single down below, five trebles. Now, if you're going for complete symmetry, then I would recommend ending your piece after completing a row five. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. So after doing your five trebles, chain two and single into that next single. 
Now, what I'm talking about is, so you can see our treble cluster flower there, and we've gone, gotten one right down here as well. So as opposed to the offset half flowers on the sides, you know, if you want it to look, you know, more symmetrical, I would suggest end on a row five, but as always, it's totally up to you. So after doing our single there, chain two, and then into that next single, five trebles. Now, the reason why I give my advice on what row to end on is because sometimes the patterns themselves are not very clear on that point, and I do get a fair number of questions. So I figure, yeah, I'm, I'll say it here and now. <laughs> there we go. Also, for those of you that are still with me, thank you. Um, <laughs> also, um, fiddling with the stitch, um, I've used this same stitch, but in a different format for an upcoming project. So it's a sort of a hint at a sneak preview, if you will. So we've got our five trebles here, chain two, and then single into the single. chain two, and then five trebles in the next single. So yeah, the project, it does utilize this stitch, but in a different format. So I thought, you know what, let's do the stitch as a, a flat piece first, and then we will fiddle with it in another video. Okay, so I've got four, one more. And then, last but not least, chain two and single into the last stitch, that single crochet, and shaboom! There you go. So, yeah, all you have to do is just keep repeating rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you want until your piece is big enough. And there you go. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude my tutorial today on the Blossom Stitch. Really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And stay tuned for more because whether it's crocheting, knitting, origami, audiobook narrations, cooking, you know, this, that, and the other, and of course my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary, would love to see you there as well. Link in the description box down below. I hope all of you have a very, very fabulous day, and until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.